project number two. Here we have the dishwasher, and here you of course have the dishwashing tabs. And it would be handy, of course, not to have them on the surface, but to have them cleanly stowed away. You would think that you'd put it here, but the problem is that here there isn't actually that much clearance, and I'd have to put it way back there, it would be annoying. So instead, project number two is very simple, is to put these dishwasher tabs here on the door. And I'm gonna pursue another goal or kind of general rule in my project, which is that I'll try to minimize the amount of holes that I need to make, obviously, because this is not my apartment, but I'm renting it. And conveniently, we have these two screws here that hold this so I'm going to take this apart and take a look at the size of the holes, uh, at the size of the screws. Uh, maybe I need to buy longer screws. And um, yeah, basically I'll use this as an attachment and I'll have to make sure that, that the clearance is good enough so that basically when we have these tabs here at the door, you know, when we close the door that it doesn't hit, obviously, this wall. But uh, for this project, actually, I think I'm not gonna CAD it. I think I can do this completely without CAD. Um, yeah, I'll just eyeball it. Uh, of course, I need to measure the distance for these two screws. And I kind of need to make sure that it doesn't hit here the wall. But other than that, I can eyeball it. Yesterday, I had the idea to maybe also make something where I can have like a holder for, for these um, trash bag rolls. But uh, yeah, I kind of like realized that that escalated quickly and it would be too complicated. I didn't want to make it too complicated, so I'm just gonna make something for the dishwasher tabs. So let's take a look at the screws. So I'll just take these to the hardware store, match them, I guess maybe I'll take a quick measurement. And yeah, I'll definitely have to buy longer ones because there isn't much of them sticking out on the other side. Um, yeah, that's barely anything. So, let's do that. So, old screw, new screws, a bit longer, and with a sink head. Perfect. This is the wood that we're going to be using. So, white on one side, and just, I don't know how you call this, compass, I don't know, wood, basically, plywood, I guess. Um, and this is the thing that we're putting in. So let's just take our measurements and instead of measuring so I'm just going to draw it on here. So I'm going to give it some space on both sides and more or less, well more <laughs> space on both sides I guess, but let's not exaggerate, just a bit here and on the other side. So I'll take this down and uh, yeah. So that'll be the width and then the height. We're gonna make it such that there is some extra space on top, of course, for the screws, but not too much so that we don't have to reach too far down. Um, and I will be adding at the bottom, I will be adding, um, well, I have to fetch them first. I will be adding these guys, so they're super long right now, so let me just take off their height roughly. They will be the other way around, but I can't put them up right now. Like so, and let's make sure that we have a straight angle. And that's already it. I'm gonna get ready to get cutting. And yeah, this time I have proper ear protection. I was just about to make the second cut when I realized that it would be kind of awkward to do it. So, I mean, I could flip it maybe to the other side and some, get some extra space, but honestly, this is not enough purchase for my taste. So, what I'll do instead is I'll use the scroll saw and I think I'm just gonna try to eyeball the straight line. And I just realized something else. 
instead of attaching this thingy to this, with this piece that's actually bigger, I could attach it like this and maybe use that to get a straight line. Isn't that a fun idea? Let's give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. I mean, I don't know, but looks straight to me. I'm getting excited because very soon I'll get to use a new tool. But first we need to take some measurements. So this is what we got. And it fits on this fits on here and we have like the little space at the bottom for for the bars that we're gonna cut now. And the length of the bars yeah of course that's gonna happen. We can measure with this, like so. Let's give it some space, but not too much. So it's a same fit. And we'll be cutting this. Alright, new tool time. <laughs> boy, oh boy, I'm looking forward to this. So this is not really a new tool, of course. This is a, as you can see, it's quite used. Uh, yeah, this is an old tool from my dad. So, let's figure it out. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, well, I guess give me a second. Alright, I figured it out. Oh, oh, oh. So, this thing is definitely too long, so I'm just cut it into two pieces and then I'll do the measuring. And this seems super loud, so yeah, let me just put up uh, my uh, ear protection. <laughs> I could cut stuff all day. Do you think the thingy will fly away? Um. I guess I can hold it, it's not too dangerous, but just with the tip of my finger, otherwise, yeah, I'm getting a bit uneasy, of course. Ha um, <laughs> ha yeah, wait until I get more experienced. But anyways, look at this, look just how beautiful this is. Beautiful. I'm just gonna cut another. Oh, okay. Guess not that beautiful. I'm gonna cut another one of these pieces. Again, we're getting into this territory of it would be nice to cut things together, but I mean, these things are too small to hold together. So, yeah, I just will have to eyeball it, I guess. Maybe start with a bigger cut and then refine it. Ah, uh, no, that sounds dangerous. Let's just try to get it right straight away. And I guess here it also would be handy to like take a precise measurement, but I just I'm just too excited to do like things properly. Just try it on. Yeah, let's keep just one mil, I guess. Actually, you can see what's happening. Actually, I think I could make it a bit more to the right. I like this. This is instant feedback. <sighs> we can't have nice things. They're not exactly the same length. And it's frustrating. I guess I should have cut them together. Ooh, I guess I should have put two of these guys on top of each other. Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out another time. Comment if you have an idea. Ta-da! Well, that's already it for the use of this tool. I'm gonna miss it until next time. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this just has to be intentional. 
Anyways, now it's time to put things together. This thing here is actually the remaining part of, of this thing when we cut it off. So this is very nice. We can just recycle this or just fully utilize this to make the front section. And yeah, that gives us doing this and this and this. And of course, this thing will be in the middle of all of that. Then we'll have to do the side walls, but let's cross that bridge when we get there. We can just go ahead and attach these things together first. Nice. So, um, I'll be using screws. I like screws. It allows to take apart your design and, I don't know, like reuse parts or, you know, transport it to somewhere else, things like that. Um, it's not always necessary, but I just do it in principle and it's fun to make screw holes. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so these are, I think, 4.5 times 20, so I'll use something more for the through holes, which are going to be on this piece, these pieces. Let's see. Yeah, let's just use 5 mil for the through holes. And I think 2 mil. Yeah, I'll use 2 mil for, for the holes where I screw it in so that we don't split the wood. Uh, I think the best way to do this is to start by drawing these things and then just drilling a hole in one part. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that things are flush. So um, to mark the hole in the other piece, we you know put them flush together and and mark and mark the hole with um, yeah. I, I should learn the names of the two in English. this thing, right? So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> it's practically square, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use the one with less tolerances then, because that's gonna be a tighter squeeze. I think it's this one. Cool. And then we have also more spacing for the screws on the top. Yeah, this we can totally eyeball just because we're transfer these holes directly to the other side. Which makes everything so much faster. So I'll start with Yeah, I'll start with the uh, two millimeters. Obviously these guys will have the two holes and they also have the counter stick on the top. So let's do that one by one. So easy. So now comes the fun part, trying to make it flush. Let me just quickly get rid of this thing. Ooh, I can actually use the other part. Um, what will I have to do? I will have to align this and punch a hole. Yes. I'm not even sure if it's thick enough, I hope it is. Oh, you know, it sticks out a little bit. Let me just go ahead and do the 4mm hole right away. No, 5mm. Ah, let's just use 4mm actually. Because then, yeah, it's going to be really tight. and so on. Um, 
because now both these holes are of course kind of unique and would not fit it in another place. But that's fine, that's not much work, that's much faster to not measure all the stuff. Ah, I forgot the countersink. Let me quickly add the countersink. Yeah, I yeah, just got a bit uglier, but it's fine. A little bit of a countersink and the rest will be taken care of by just screwing it in. Look at how flush it is. Perfect. So let's repeat this four times. And I'm just gonna add markings to know which one is which. So if this is the front, this is the top, and this is the right. So top, technically bottom, right. We know that this is the right piece, and yeah, we'll do this once this is done. And we already did the hole, so now all that we have to do is to punch it through. And we just do the same thing. Again, I'm very happy. And now we do exactly the same thing from the front. <laughs> yeah, doing the two first and then the four afterwards, of course, is much easier. And that's material to be removed, but this is still faster. I guess maybe this wouldn't have happened if I did it a bit slower. But oh well, I'll just uh, squeeze it together by screwing. And yeah, this is now much less convenient to work with. I could take it apart, but honestly, it's just. Yeah, because this is not perfectly rectangular. Ugh. <laughs> Let's also do it on the other side. Now this is gonna be a bit uglier maybe. Let's see. Nah. So unfortunately the phone went into battery saving mode and apparently it's a good idea to stop a recording once you switch to battery saving mode. Annoying. So yeah, now I'm charging it. Hopefully it'll continue working. But anyways, here we have this. It's almost perfect, like these, especially these, they feel super flush. But then here it's not perfectly flush. Uh, here it's very flush, here it's not that flush. But you know, it doesn't matter. Look. Awesome, it squeezes in and we'll be just able to hang that up. I think I'll still add sidewalls just to make it more... Will I? You know what, let's just, let's just make it quicker and I can add sidewalls afterwards if I like, right? Let's just, let's just put this in into the kitchen. So yeah, now the rest of the job couldn't be easier. All that we have to do is to put this in and let's, <laughs> fingers crossed that it will not hit the sidewall when I close this. And it doesn't. Good. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to put the first hole anywhere 
and then we're gonna fit the second hole and make sure that uh, it's going to be level. So let me get the leveler actually and I'm gonna need the hole puncher. Alright, I brought the stuff. Uh, let's just go in. Get the point. So the first hole we're gonna put close to the border. I would say something like here, and I just now remember that I forgot the leveler, but that's fine. I'm just gonna get it once it's needed. So this thing is built. So let's screw this in, make it roughly even, and then punch the hole. Great, so I ran out of storage again, so you probably missed something. Uh, yeah, it's finished. <laughs> uh, this is it. And uh, let's put in the tabs. And they just fit, so we, <laughs> we don't even need sidewalls. Perfect. So now, next time, I want to do some dishwashing. I open the dishwasher, take the tab. Put it in, ready to go! So yeah, I think this project doesn't really require a conclusion. This was just so much simpler than the previous one. So that's super nice. Um, yeah, there isn't much to say. Uh, no cutting was required. We started with just taking the measurements, or not even taking the measurements, but just putting this next to the wood and you know, eyeballing how much we want and drawing it out, cutting the pieces. This piece we had automatically cut because the, the width of this piece of wood was well, this plus this plus the cutting distance. Um, it's really cool to use the new tool. It was a lot of fun uh, cutting these guys. So they're not equally long, but who cares. Um, yeah, I added like the old screws here with tape. So in case the person who runs after me doesn't want to have this gadget, I can just remove it and replace the old screws. And everything will be as before. And yeah, that's super easy to use. Just put this in here. And yeah, here are our dishwasher tabs. So, that's it. I hope you could get something out of this video. And maybe until next time.